So this is 0021 going solo. Uh, you talk about uh, rolling the dice. This is rolling the dice. We uh, literally just seen one video of this bull, but uh, Donnie O'Brien and myself, we parted on a flush and we flushed riding solo to Big Black's Dam and created, uh, I think, eight embryos. Well, out of that flush, though, I didn't get any males. I didn't get any bull calves. And he owned this one bull calf and sent me a, a video of it. And uh, we kind of kind of lined it up and had a partner looking for a bull. And we invested in him. Um, probably one of the greenest bulls that's in Las Vegas. But uh, we've seen what he can do athletic-wise. Uh, I mean, he, he, can, he can jump over this fence when he decides to, uh, a lot like his daddy. So if we can kind of hit a couple turns here, he might uh, be the most unknown bull that has a shot to win the whole thing. But there's a lot of other stuff going on when you when you get here, um, especially when you're talking to T-Mobile Arena downtown. You know this bull's got to go get, get on one truck and travel downtown at you know five hours before performance and sit in a, a little eight by eight pen as they practice pyros and music. And I mean there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you know trying to get these bulls trained and focused where no matter what happens. I'm thinking of you know my, my my bucking what I'm doing in the arena, so that's that's his biggest challenge. It's not an athletic ability or, or want to, you just uh, you got to he's got to stay focused this week. Um, it's one of those things he could first place wins two hundred thousand dollars, so uh, stay focused. Uh, his personality is uh, he's he's pretty wild. I mean, going solo is he, he's nervous as you can tell. He stays at the back of the pen the whole time, um, you know and. In the, the, the one month that he's been at the ranch, we've tried to remedy that. Um, you know, always kind of put him in the front pen. You know, the truck's going anywhere. We we went to, a, did a rodeo in Bowie, Texas. He went over there just to, just to hang out and, you know, listen to the music. Uh, Los Lunas, he was there for, you know, six days, uh, you know, just taking in all the experience. Not the bucking, just him going and, and being involved in everything because, you know, what's what's going through his little mind right now might be the, the crazy things he knows when somebody sits on his back he, he wants to, to buck them off but uh, there's a lot of other things they got to work out too uh this bull has uh zero lifetime earnings so far and even that's uh, not usual uh that you would you would come you know to town run a classic competition with that um you know we got him in on on videos that we'd seen so we put him through our training program a crash course in a sense where he would go in the chute and I would sit on him and I would get him used to, to riders like that. Uh, then we would put a dummy on him and open the gate and get him used to, to bucking and finding a routine and then haul him to different events to, to find out those things. There has been no proven success in those, but we are doing A, B, C, and D to check those boxes of, of he's ready to go. Uh, so what, what I seen, I mean, we, we invested in him mostly. What, what brought me to him was his breeding of, of what he was. Um, you know, the second thing, he showed up at the house and we're like, oh, let's just buck him and see what he does. And I was I was amazed. I haven't seen an athlete like this since riding solo. Uh, so, you know, we, we wanted to get him in the process fast, uh, you know, because every day that we wait is, you know, money that we could have won.